Remember to keep voting for what movie I may review from you guys. Anyway, enjoy my review of The Big Short. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back. If you haven't seen my review for Daddy Some, then why don't you go check it out? But but instead of going fun like usual, we're gonna go down a little more of a serious route this time, and let's review The Big Short. The Big Short is directed by Adam McKay and stars Christian Bale, Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, and Brad Pitt, and is not only based on the Wall Street drop of 2008, but is also based on the book of the same name, but entitled The Big Short Inside the Doomsday Machine by Michael Lewis. This movie shows the events leading up to the event of the, of the drop, but th this film tells the story of four guys trying to, trying to make the bank pay after the house market has gone downhill. Going into The Big Short, I was curious because director Adam McKay K, who is known for making a good comedy like Anchorman, is taking on a drama. And I was like, sure I can work with that probably. And also, another time I saw an adaptation on a book by Michael Lewis, I saw Moneyball. And, that was, and I love that movie. Even though I don't know a lot about the house marketing or the bank itself, what I do know is that The Big Short is a great movie. Now let's talk about what I like and what I didn't like. And of course, let's talk about the acting first. The acting in The Big Short is great, especially from Steve Carell, who for me stole the movie. The other actors like Christian Bale, Ryan Gosling, and Brad Pitt did pretty good jobs as well, but for me, Carell just stole the whole movie for me. Another reason the acting is also really damn good in this movie is that ev because everyone in the film gets their own moment to shine. Basically, we jump back and forth between actors, and they have their own moments where they can say really good lines and also make the movie also great. Now, for me, I have not learned a lot about this event, considering it, what it, this movie is based on, but in this movie, they make their own funny version on telling people on it. While trying to tell a serious story as well, they also add some images and some funny stuff in there to te give, make the audience laugh a little bit. Like, one instance, they, they basically say that nobody likes poetry. Just, wow. That takes a lot of guts to make fun of it. The flaws of The Big Short are pretty small, but from my point of view, the flaws of The Big Short is that in the final act, it gets kind of slow. Now, don't get me wrong. In the final act, there are some interesting scenes, like kind of a great, great cameo, by the way. I'm not going to say who it is, but just some parts of it were f sort of slow for me. At the end of the day, I had a great time with The Big Short, and I really recommend people check it out. Sure, I do not know a lot about the housing market, but a movie about the housing market can keep me interested for two hours, and it's without a doubt, Adam McKay's best movie. Hey, I'm Jeff Buckland, thanks for watching my review for The Big Short, and if you want to vote for a movie I could review by you from you guys, then go watch my review for Daddy Soam. And I remember, I, have, I had a job at the bank, like it was just yesterday. Hmm. I remember ha I had a job where I was basically sitting around in a desk doing absolutely nothing but just counting checks. It was fun. But the next month, my boss, Donald Trump, told me because of bad business move. You're fired. A month passed that I didn't even employ myself for a job. When I returned home, I took a look at my newspaper and I saw something I wouldn't believe. A promotion in the paper to become another, the next internet review. So I headed out to go find myself on the next job I could get. When the boss heard my story, he automatically hired me. So I was accepted. And that's the story of how I got my internet job review. Thanks for watching. Even though this was, it was a kind of mellow dramatic, it was still an interesting journey.